this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Sadly, there is no William Beaver today, he is having a lion, but I will be joined by Esther and her egg, and also Polly Reindeer! Good morning, Polly! A very good morning to you, and I got you here for a reason. We are building something today which is going to be quite big, quite complicated, but hopefully pretty awesome. Are you up to the challenge of trying to get it completely built today? Hopefully you are, because that is what we're going to be trying to do. Jolly good. <laughs> and you need to do it while looking after this egg as well. I want to see that egg at the end of the episode, and I want to make sure it's doing okay, all right? That's your that's your second goal. Anyway, my first goal, and my only goal, and my only proper goal this episode, is to eat my breakfast. Nom, 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 nom. There we go. Goal complete. Let's go do some building then, shall we? <laughs> and I do mean it. We are building something that is uh, is pretty cool today. Uh, something that is unlike anything I have ever built before. And I know I'm building up quite a lot, but hopefully uh, you are going to enjoy seeing it. But first, I need to go and add someone to my love garden. And uh, today to my love garden, I am adding Magic Dragon 46. And that's because they sent me this picture of a homemade love garden that they made themselves. And it's mainly made out of coloured and paper, uh, but I think it looks really cool. And there's also a big poster uh, for Snowy uh, as well, which is uh, one of my uh, favourite dogs, which sadly uh, passed away, but we all uh, remember very fondly. So I wanted to say uh, thank you very much for sending that to me, Magic Dragon, and welcome to my love garden. Right then, Barnaby, let's get you to the uh, the doghouse, uh, and then I'm going to go and explain uh, what it is uh, exactly we are going to, to be building today. And I'll tell you this, it's going to be a new restaurant, and I haven't built a restaurant in a long time. Well, it's not even a restaurant. It's a takeaway food place. Okay, so uh, something completely different different uh, to anything I have done before and we're going to be doing that while being joined by um, Benji. Do you want Benji to, to join us uh, today then Polly? Uh, looks like uh, that's who she wants so Benji uh, you can come and join us and Barnaby where are you? Oh, <laughs> you can go and uh, sit down. Oh no Benji! Benji stop bullying Duncan that was very naughty you shouldn't have pushed Duncan off like that. <laughs> right then let's go and uh, start building then shall we? So yeah we are building a takeaway pizzeria which is basically just a takeaway pizza place, but it's going to be with nice, tasty pizza. None of the uh, the rubbish, cheap, smelly pizza you sometimes find. This is going to be made out of the, the best pizza uh, flavours ever, and we're also going to be cooking it in a working clay oven, uh, which should hopefully uh, make the uh, the entire thing uh, even better than it would have been before. And uh, I'm going to end up there to get there a little bit quicker, uh, but I'm being a little bit careful, though, because I was quite hungry and I was a little bit hurt. And uh, we're actually building all the way over here, rather uh, than building next to the, uh, the music shop. And <laughs> I'm landing on the top of everything today. Yeah, rather than building on top of the, the music shop, I'm building over here because... Can I make this jump up to those steps? Do you think that's possible? Oh, it is. <laughs> yeah, because there's the uh, the bank over there, uh, which is made out of sandstone. And uh, the thing we're building today is made out of sandstone. I didn't want too many too similar things uh, to be closer together. No, I realize I've just got stuck inside of here. <laughs> Right, I tried to go quick. Okay, let's use the, the ender pearls and let's just try and ender pearl over to there uh, because this is where we're going to be building. It's going to be uh, directly behind uh, where the um, where the shoe shop is. So right about here. There we go. That was perfect. <laughs> and the entire building is going to be in the uh, the shape of a giant clay oven. And the, uh, the clay ovens, uh, just in case you uh, haven't seen them, is... Oh, what's that? Oh, hello, Polly. <laughs> you know I got you in the, the video to help me build, not throw snowballs. Well, I guess as long as you're having fun... <laughs> Yeah, so basically the giant clay ovens are uh, what they sound like. It's a big oven and it's made out of clay. And uh, basically it's uh, an open fire and uh, you put the pizza in and it makes it kind of extra crusty and makes it really tasty. So the entire building uh, is going to be shaped like one, uh, but also we're going to have a working one on the inside as well. And I've got a pretty cool design for that, which I'm going to be showing you in the, uh, the next episode. But first, uh, let's go and try and get this built. So it's going to be in the shape of a circle. So I've gone six wide there and then I've gone two along and then two diagonal then two along the other direction and then one two three four five six uh, along this side as well and it looks like Polly's done the same thing and look at that they meet up perfectly <laughs> so yeah this is the um uh, the bottom of the uh, the area this is uh, how big it's uh, going to be but now we need to go and build up so we're going to build uh, four blocks up uh, all around the uh, the walls here and uh, then we're going to go and start sloping it inwards. So uh, it's going to be a, a little bit of a, of a dome shape. And then on the, the very top, uh, there's going to be a chimney, which is going to be a working chimney, uh, which is going to be all the way from the real clay oven, uh, which is going to be in the uh, in the bottom. 
Uh, so all of the uh, the smoke can go and make its way outside of the uh, the restaurant, uh, so it doesn't clog the uh, the entire place up. And I shouldn't really call it a restaurant because there's going to be no actual seating inside. Uh, the only seating that there's going to be uh, is going to be for people that are just going in and waiting for their their pizza. There's going to be like no tables. You can't sit in and eat. And then what I'm going to do uh, on the uh, the very front of this area is I'm going to make it look like uh, the uh, the entire building's kind of on fire. <laughs> so I'm not going to use real fire uh, because that might be a little bit dangerous and the building might burn down. But what what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use stained glass and uh, and redstone lamps. And so I'm going to go and do uh, stained glass, which is going to be uh, red, yellow, and orange stained glass to kind of look like fire. Then I'm going to have redstone lamps kind of going on and off in like a, a pattern uh, to try and make it look like that's, uh, that's fire. And so I'm going to go and start building that now. And while I do that, Polly, uh, do you want to go and get the uh, the rest of the uh, the walls built up and try and make the, uh, the dome shape? So uh, let's go and uh, have something else to, to eat quickly. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some of this uh, this sandstone uh, into smooth sandstone because I've done it so the, the bottom kind of looks like bricks uh, but then the uh, the top uh, is going to be made out of the, uh, the smooth sandstone and luckily uh, to make smooth sandstone all you need is sandstone. <laughs> and is that what it's called? Yeah it is called smooth sandstone. Uh, so let's go and make uh, a bunch of this because uh, I'm pretty much going to need more uh, of this than the, the normal sandstone now. So I might go and uh, just make as much of this as I can then I'm going to go and pile my way up to the, uh, the top uh, to make a little staircase and then I can go and carry on building. So Along the uh, the front here, I'm gonna guess. Uh, I guess I'm gonna make like a, a bit of an archway, kind of. I'm gonna make uh, an archway, uh, and then this is gonna be like as if this is the opening of the uh, of the clay oven, uh, which is gonna be where all of the uh, the fire is going to to be. So if I uh, if I go and start it about here, maybe, and if I I'll go two up at first, and then I'll kind of just uh, staircase this in, and then if I do the uh, the same on the other side, just to to make sure uh, it's all going to to meet perfectly. So I need to go like that. And then I need to go in one and then up. And then I think these should hopefully kind of just meet up in the, the middle. Is this symmetrical though? That's the question. I think it is. I think this does uh, look just about right. So let's go and uh, break away this dirt because this isn't going to, to be here. <laughs> and then what we're going to do is we're going to have one row, uh, which is going to be all of the, the different stained glass. And then behind that is going to be the uh, the redstone lamp. So let's go and add that in now. And then the only thing we need to do is the, uh, the redstone, uh, which is going to make the, uh, the redstone lamps light up. And it's actually pretty simple. It's going to make a really cool effect, uh, but it's actually going to be very simple to, to do. And the good thing about it is that it doesn't matter about doing it perfectly uh, because you can kind of do whatever pattern you want. And uh, that will make a little bit more sense in a minute. But for now, I'm going to go and start picking some flowers. And I'm not just doing this because I'm bored and want to pick some flowers. <laughs> I'm doing this because uh, I'm going to make some dye. I'm going to dye the uh, the glass, which I already have, uh, to make some uh, orange, uh, red, and some yellow. So uh, I've got the, the glass on me already, but I hadn't made the, uh, the dye yet. So luckily, uh, there were lots of flowers about. So let's make all of this into yellow and red. And then we can combine the, the yellow and red uh, to make some orange uh, as well. And uh, now let's go and uh, make some of the uh, the glass into, into this stained glass. So we need uh, red. Let's do a couple red. Uh, I need to do some orange uh, as well. Uh, and then some yellow as well. So uh, hopefully I don't run out of glass here. I seem to, to have plenty. So I made a little bit of yellow. I probably don't need too much of that. And then the only other one I need is the orange. And there we go. There's the orange here. So let's go and make a little bit of that. And I do have some spare. So actually, let's just uh, keep that as some spare glass in case I need some uh, some more later. And uh, let's just go and uh, place these ones uh, on the uh, on the front. So I guess I'm going to start off with the uh, the red. Uh, which is going to be on the uh, the bottom down here because uh, it's kind of like the um, uh, I guess that's the hottest part of the uh, the flame I guess like you know when you see just like coal like um, just burning and it's just kind of really red hot at the bottom so I guess it's going to be like that and then I can add some like orange in this row as well so this is going to be kind of like uh, orange and red and I don't have to do this as a, a proper pattern I can kind of do this randomly uh, and then on this bit I'm going to start adding in some yellow and the yellow is going to be the uh, the actual proper flames I guess actually let's add a, a little bit of yellow on this row as well. So I can kind of do this. Uh, I guess I can do it kind of almost zigzagging up. So if I do orange there and then yellow there, and I guess the uh, the top rows uh, are going to be a, a mixture of, uh, oh, not, not dirt, <laughs> a mixture of yellow and orange. And some bits you're not going to be able to see very well because they're they're kind of hidden. But uh, I guess from the, the right angle, uh, you will be able to, to see it. So I've kind of already done a little bit of a, a fire effect. You see that how that looks a little bit like a fire? Okay, it doesn't look much like a fire yet, but trust me, it will do. 
<laughs> Once I've added down uh, the uh, the redstone lamps, and it's going to look even better at night time uh, as well, because uh, you're going to see it all glowing uh, as if it is real fire. So let me go now, and uh, I need to try and get around to the outside of this. Polly's uh, done too good of a job building and made it harder to, to get around the place. Look how busy she has been. This place uh, is looking awesome already, but uh, while she's doing that, I'm going to go and build out a little bit further here, just so I can stand here, uh, and then I'm going to go and um, start adding in uh, all of the uh, the redstone lamps. So let me just go and build this along here, uh, basically just so I can stand here for now, because uh, we're going to actually have a dome on the inside as well. So there's going to be the dome on the outside, uh, and then to hide the redstone, we're going to have another dome on the inside, so you can still look up and have the, uh, the cool looking tall ceilings. But for now, I'm just going to go and add in these redstone lamps. So I only need to place them uh, where there's stained glass, on the other side because otherwise you're not going to, to be able to, to see them and I don't want to, to waste using too many of these redstone lamps. So let's go and uh, place all of these in along here and uh, there's some behind where this dirt was as well. Actually, no, there doesn't need to be one there, uh, but there does need to be one here. And uh, let's go and uh, pile up uh, again and uh, go and fill in the, the rest of these gaps. So these are all going to be kind of lighting up randomly. So I need some there and there as well. And all of the, the rest here is going to be eventually filled in with uh, sandstone uh, once Polly gets around to it. So while she's uh, carrying on doing the ceiling, uh, no, doing the roof, sorry, I am going to go and do the uh, the ceiling. So I, I kind of went out a little bit too far here uh, just so I could stand here. So let's go and quickly break this away and uh, uh, then, as I said, I'm just going to go and try and do a, a big dome uh, on the, the ceiling on the, the inside. So that's gone three out there. So let's go one, two, three. Uh, and let's go one, two, three, just to kind of mark it for now. Uh, so this is uh, how far I want the, the, the normal ceiling to go out on each side. And then it's just going to go and basically uh, slope up to the, uh, the ceiling and uh, hopefully make the entire place look cool. Because the design of this place is, is in the middle, there's going to be the, uh, the giant clay oven which is really going to be like the uh, the centerpiece of the, the entire place. And then the big chimney going up to the ceiling. And I want the uh, the clay oven to be really big and the chimney to be big as well. Uh, so I want to have a, as large a ceiling as I can. So that's why I'm doing the uh, the slope roof. But the only reason I'm not uh, just keeping it all completely open is because I need the redstone and I don't want the, the redstone to be visible. I always think it's better when you can kind of uh, hide the, the redstone and kind of make it look like everything is just sort of magically working. So uh, that's why I'm kind of doing this uh, this separate bit here. So there we go. That's the, the ceilings uh, as far as them they're going to be normally uh, and now I just need to go and start sloping them up so if I go and uh, just build out along here like this uh, and then two along there as well and I guess I can kind of just go around the the outside like this and then keep going higher uh, until I kind of meet the uh, the very top uh, where Polly's going to be so if I kind of just keep building uh, along like this uh, around and around and, uh, and around and then eventually, uh, once I meet up with Polly, I know that this ceiling's done. And then I'm going to go and start trying to, to do some of the, the redstone. And I'm going to need your help there, Polly, uh, because uh, Polly's my uh, my redstone expert. Uh, I guess I'm going to need her just to, just to um, supervise me and just make sure <laughs> what I'm doing is correct. But as I said, the good thing about this redstone is you can kind of do it wrong. Or like, say if you're trying to, to kind of build your own version of what I'm building, you don't need to worry about copying me because you can do it whatever way you want. And when I was kind of just testing testing it just to make sure whether it would work at all. Like I did it in loads of different ways and you know some ways look good, some ways look bad, but like they all look different, uh, which is kind of good because I'm trying to make wildfire. So what I'm basically going to be doing is just basically doing trails of repeaters going to the um, the redstone lamps and then just kind of pulling them back randomly just to make it look like a, a wild flame uh, is going up behind the, the redstone lamps. So uh, as I said, you really don't need uh, to worry uh, about making it look perfect at all. And then all else I'm going to have in the, the restaurant uh, is going to be uh, uh, display showing the uh, the different types of, uh, of pizza we're going to have and actually I need to think about the delivery because I said this is going to be pizza delivery but I don't want to be carrying around all of this pizza on foot <laughs> oh I guess what I could do is I could do pigs on saddles it could be pigs on saddles delivery pizza <laughs> that would be a fun way I've never been delivered a pizza from a cat riding a pig that that would be a new experience and I also uh, haven't mentioned uh, what the um uh, what the pizzas are actually going to be. Because you might be there thinking, wait a minute, Stampy, you've gone crazy. There are no pizzas in Minecraft, but have you ever noticed how much pumpkin pie looks like pizza? So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to rename pumpkin pie pizza and then just call that pizza, even though it technically isn't. <laughs> anyway, I think this should be just about high enough here. I think I might have even gone uh, a little bit too high. Uh, but this has basically shown me uh, how much room I have uh, in order to, to do uh, all, of my, uh, all of my redstone. So... 
Uh, I think this should uh, do for now. And actually, there is going to be a hole here as well, because uh, around about here uh, is where the uh, the chimney uh, is going to be going up to the uh, the ceiling. So let's go and uh, see if I can go and uh, get some of this uh, this redstone finish then, shall we? And I should probably uh, fill in some of these gaps here because they don't look very nice either. All right then. So as I said, uh, this is going to be super, super simple. So I got all of my repeaters here. And all I need to, to do is do just a big row of them the entire way along here. And when they light up, uh, they're actually going to, to light up uh, quite a, a lot of the uh, the redstone lamps in the, the area. Let me try and show you a, an example of that. If I put a torch down, if I put it here, there we go. You can see it lights up a few of them. Uh, if I do it, uh, I think even if I do it a little bit further along, it will light up the, the one above it as well. You can see, there we go. It does like a little triangle. So basically that repeater is going to light up all of those ones. And I think that helps that makes it uh, look a, a little bit more like a, a real flame uh, and then uh, that means all I need to do is add a, a another row uh, which can be I guess I'll do it uh, about here maybe I could do the the next row if I do it like above these repeaters uh, I could do a, another bunch of repeaters here and kind of do the uh, the same here and light these up uh, as well and then I just need to go and add in my trails of, uh, of redstone so uh, let's go uh, along here like this and I should get a little bit worried that there aren't more repeaters. So there are repeaters down there as well. Uh, and I don't know whether I've done this ceiling in too close. I'm, I'm sure I'm going to be able to get this. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to be able to get this to, to work in some way, even if it's just the uh, the bottom row going around. So uh, all we need to do now is uh, make sure uh, that this is a, a redstone clock. And what I mean by that, it just needs to be redstone uh, that is continually going round in a loop. So let's just build uh, this redstone going around here. And then I kind of need to do redstone uh, going towards these here. So I guess if I fill that down there and then put some blocks on here like this, I need to put them uh, just above that redstone there like that and that. And then let's do some redstone going to here. And so this is all going to, to link up with that. And then this is going to go back down to the, the other side and kind of complete the uh, the trail here. I also uh, might need to add a, a few more repeaters uh, just to make sure it doesn't run out of power. So I might go and add a, another repeater just about here as well. Uh, and I think this should hopefully fingers crossed be okay so let's pull back this one and uh, i need to make sure oh no pull it back to there and then i need to make sure these ones yep they're pulled back as well and now i can kind of do these ones a little bit randomly so let's go and uh let's pull them back three on either side here and then pull that back one maybe and then if I go to, to here, I'll do the uh, the same on this side. I'll pull that back three, that back three, and pull that back one. And let's give this a go. I'm not sure if this is going to work. I will be honest, I have no idea if this is going to work. But let's go and give it a little bit of a, a test to go, shall we? So if I just start a signal going at all... It seems to be working. This actually looks quite good. From the inside, it looks quite good. But what really matters uh, is how good it looks from the, the outside. Because that uh, is where it's supposed to be admired from. So there we go, look at that! That looks good, doesn't it? It looks like there's a proper flame going. It's spreading around it. And it's kind of just looking like the uh, the entire place is burning. But of course, it's not. <laughs> I think that looks pretty awesome. And actually, Polly rained it. I've just noticed. Have you finished almost the entire place? Look at it. There we go. There is the giant clay oven. I was there messing around with my redstone and you were there putting your head down, working hard and just getting the entire rest of the place done. <laughs> this looks cool. Right, let's go and uh, let's, I kind of want to see it properly from somewhere higher up. Do you reckon I could go on top of the radio tower and uh, have a look at it uh, from the, uh, the sky up there? Let's go and see if I can do that. And oh, You've done a good, you've looked after the, you've got to look after it for a little bit longer though. We, we can pass it to each other like penguins do, okay? You've got to get in close. I'm going to drop it on my feet, then you've got to get it. Don't let it touch the snow. There we go. That's how, that's how penguins pass eggs and cats and reindeer as well, apparently. <laughs> let me see if I can ender pearl, and this will be a good throw if I can do this. Let's see if I can ender pearl and land on this radio tower so I can see what it, what it looks like from, uh, from above. Because I'm kind of too close uh, to really admire it properly and I have no idea. Oh, look at that. Ooh, I was just about able to land on it. And there we go. You can now see the uh, the shape of it. So that's the, the chimney there. So the uh, the actual proper clay oven uh, will be on the, the inside uh, directly underneath that. So all of the uh, the smoke can go and make its, uh, its way out. Uh, but apart from that, this place is looking pretty awesome. So I do say uh, we have pretty much uh, finished building the, the outside. And I think it looks rather dandy. So in the next episode, uh, we are going to go inside of here. And uh, we're going to go and get the, the clay oven done. Uh, we're also going 
and, and get all the uh, the rest of the uh, the kitchen and everything else that needs to be here done. And you don't want to miss seeing how I'm going to do the uh, the fire in the clay oven as well, because I think it's a pretty cool way of doing it, and I think you're going to enjoy seeing that. So there'll be a link in the whoa, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> there'll be a link in the uh, the description to the the next episode, uh, so you can go and uh, check that out. And uh, Polly, you have now finished your duty of looking after the egg, so you can you can go and pass it back to me now, and I'll I'll go and carry on looking after it. Well, I'll go, I'm going to go give it back to Esther, seeing as it is her uh, her egg after all. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, that is the uh, the end of this episode here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye.